Look, Sarah has hurt her hand. I think the cell in her hand has been damaged. Spiky, I don't think she has damaged a cell. Rather, her skin tissue must have been damaged. Tissue? You mean tissue paper? No, Spiky. You know how humans are part of communities to connect and work together? Similarly, cells connect and work together in multicellular organisms like plants and animals. When similar cells combine and work together, tissues are formed. So, a group of similar cells performing the same functions form a tissue. This is not the same thing as tissue paper. Let's take a closer look at some of the tissues in animals and plants. Look closely at your skin. Do you think it's made up of only one, two, or three cells? Of course it isn't. Many similar cells in the upper layer of our skin come together to make epithelial tissue. Can you think of the function of this tissue? Epithelial tissue forms the outermost layer of our bodies. It protects the structures, systems, and other tissues that are inside of our bodies. The muscles in our arms, legs, stomachs, and hearts are made up of muscle tissue. The muscle tissue is used in places of movement and can take a lot of pressure. For example, the muscle tissue in our arms and legs allows us to stretch and move, the muscle tissue in the stomach helps with the digestion of food, and the muscle tissue in the heart helps with pumping blood all over our body. Connective tissue is found in between the different tissues of our bodies. Connective tissues connect, support, and bind other tissues or organs. Now, what about tissues in plants? We need to water our plants so that they don't die. But have you ever wondered how the water reaches different parts, like the leaves or flowers of the plant? Maybe through some pipes that are in plants. You're close enough. Water travels from the roots to the stem, leaves, or fruit of the plant through vascular tissue. Vascular tissue has two components, the xylem and phloem. The phloem transports fruit from the leaves to the different parts of the plant, whereas the xylem transports water from the roots. Just like we have epithelial tissue that protects the structures inside us, plants also have a protective layer. The protective layer in plants is made up of epidermal tissues. Epidermal tissue forms the surface of stems, roots, and leaves to protect the inner tissues. So, similar cells that perform the same tasks combine to make up tissues. Does that mean our ears, eyes, heart, and stomach are also tissues? For instance, ears perform the function of hearing. No, Spiky. Our ears, eyes, or heart are not tissues. They are organs. An organ is a part of a body which is made up of different tissues that work together to perform a specific task. For example, our brain is an organ that is made up of nervous and connective tissue. Collectively, these tissues work together to help the brain process information and control bodily functions. Similarly, the heart is an organ that consists of epithelial, muscle, and connective tissues so that it can pump blood to every part of our body. Do tissues in plants make up organs like they do in animals? Oh yes, plants also have organs that are made up of different tissues. 
In plants, roots are organs that are made up of epidermal tissue, ground tissue, and xylem tissue. Together, these tissues form roots, an organ that holds the plant firmly into the soil and absorbs water from the soil for the plant. Leaves are other organs that are made up of epidermal, vascular, and mesophyll tissues. Mesophyll tissues consist of green cells that contain chlorophyll. This tissue makes food in the presence of sunlight through the process of photosynthesis. So leaves make food for plants. So, cells combine to make up tissues and tissues combine to make up organs. Let's summarize what we have learned today. Tissues are made up of similar cells that work together to perform a task. Epithelial, muscular, and nerve tissues are examples of animal tissues. Epidermal, vascular, and ground tissues are examples of plant tissues. Organs are parts of the body that are made up of different tissues that work together to perform a specific task. The heart, lungs, and eyes are examples of organs in animals whereas roots, stems, and leaves are examples of organs in plants.